Hello world, Wave Time here, bringing to you another project. This time, I made this monstrosity with my friend Killio One. Say hi. Hi. So this is kind of similar to the quarry design that I've shown earlier, but it's not a quarry in the fact that it doesn't mine stuff. It's actually a 3D printer. What it does is you enter a command in this computer right over here, and it will set different colors of wool in 3D designs depending on how you program it. Now, it comes prepackaged with most of the basic programs like going in the positive x direction, z, raising it and lowering it, and with some go-to commands so you can individually select the coordinates <clears throat> as well as the height. Now as you see it's powered with a bunch of mag tubes to bring all the items that are required and an assembler has the various wools that are needed right here. It's powered by this solar panel network which should give it enough energy for a nice simple house though sometimes with how it is set up right now we've experienced that it sometimes conks out on us since the battery box is up there uh, loses power which isn't very good so we do have a pre-programmed program that we'd like to show you um, what we'll do is we'll set it to daytime and get in a good recording spot so we can do a time lapse of it building many layers upon layers of a house. So what you do is go to this monitor right here, clear that page out right there, and type house. It'll give you a 10 second delay of warning before you have to go and it will execute. Hopefully. Go, go, go! Okay, so everything's built nice and cozily. As you can see, we got a nice different colored interior and it actually built a nice interior. Now you may need to add your own torches, but hey, it's not like you're going to live in something this flammable. <laughs> Anyways, it as yeah, my friend over there, he decided to put it back to its zero zero position, though it looks like it's at uh, zero one right now. Well, lowering it. It's, um, yeah, it's zero one. It's at okay. zero one? Okay, but that's good. So, everything seems to be working. Now, on to a bit more of the mechanical things that happen in here. 
There are different colors of wires on independent frame motors. As you can see, up and down, we have the left and right, or the positive and negative X direction. And we have the forward and backwards, positive and negative Y direction. Not really Y, but it's more of Z. We have some wooden stops to make sure that the block to make sure that the crane arm does not move past the zero zero point. And we got another iron stop right here to make sure that it doesn't go into the atmosphere because it'd be a little hard to retrieve if it went that high. Um the black wires the black self holding wire holds 16 uh, colored cables which all uh, indicate one color of wool as shown in the assembler and also the green wire controls all of the movements going for every independent movement with their different wires they are completely independent from each other, these two wires, and they are handled by the I.O. devices Expander. right over here. Expanders, yeah. These I.O. expanders are sent to 3 and 4. Now, to make sure that they don't uh, mess up with each other, there are a few things in the code to make them play nice with each other. One of them is that... One part in the code is that for the movements, they are handled on number 3. And when you want to place a block, it changes to number 4, the black wire, to select the color. And then it changes back to 3 to allow the movements. This is done because movements are the most uh, used function in this program. So the space that this 3D printer can build is a 25 by 25 by 20 3D grid. You can place anything in this grid using the commands and print out any of the colored wools. In fact, you can even change the different things in here to something other than wool as long as you change the program appropriately. So that's all for this episode of another super project. If you like what you see, you can rate, comment, subscribe, check some of the stuff on my other channels, not channels, episodes. For instance, I did a mobile quarry and a regular quarry, which isn't mobile. Eventually, Killy01 is going to have some uh, of his own inventions on his personal channel so I'll put a link of that in the description below so that's pretty much all for this episode wave time signing off and same with Killy hello have a wonderful day